the first thing I'm going to do is cut the, I don't know how, how you even call this, the front part of the wing, the, I guess the drumette and the wingette, I don't know, what is it called? I'm Aaron Crowder, I'm the chef and partner of Servos in the Lower East Side, and today I'm going to show you how to carve this turkey. I think the best way to go about this is to remove all of the parts separately and then attack each one of those individually. The most important part of cutting this turkey is going to be having a knife that can actually cut through it. So find whatever knife is the sharpest knife in your kitchen and that's the one that you should use. I have a smaller knife that I'm going to use at first and then I have a larger knife. Um, both of them are really sharp and should make this easy. It's been resting for about an hour which is going to make this much easier. If you don't, it's going to be really hot. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the strings that we put on here to roast it. Uh, you can cut it anywhere and then just pull it off. If you're not careful, you could rip the skin. So just be a little gentle here. So letting this rest is going to obviously allow you to cut it when it's not extremely hot. But all of the juice inside of it is going to set and not just run out as soon as you uh, cut into it. Resting is one of the most important parts of this whole situation here. I always find that it's easiest to remove the leg and thigh first, which I'm gonna start by just making a really like quick incision here. Because my knife is sharp, I'm not putting any actual pressure on it, I'm letting the knife do the work. Putting a little bit of pressure on the actual bone here in order to help itself move in the direction I want it to move. Because it's nicely cooked and nicely rested, the meat is starting to fall off the bone a little bit. So maybe this whole leg isn't going to come off altogether, but we will move with the punches here. I've just separated the turkey leg from the thigh, gently as possible, trying to remove the whole thigh here. Because it's nicely cooked, it's going to want to fall apart a little bit, but we can easily, gently keep it together as best as possible. We have the leg and thigh here, which is the dark meat of the bird. And then next we're gonna go into the breast, which is the white meat. I think everyone has their own preference. I'd definitely go for the dark meat before the white meat. On something that's whole roasted, it's usually um, a little bit juicier. So this one kind of came off all together, but I'm still gonna separate it, make it easier here. You have another turkey leg, and another thigh. I'm trying to keep the skin on here. If it comes off though, we'll just put it back on later. Next, I'm gonna to try to tackle the wings. One thing that I think is really important when you're butchering anything or breaking anything is that you're actually moving the thing that you're butchering and not trying to move yourself. If you just turn the thing where you need it to be to actually cut in a really natural way, you're gonna, it's gonna be much easier. Now I'm going to remove the breasts gonna make a quick incision, and you're gonna end up on one side of this, this bone here. I find it easier to start on the left side, uh, maybe because I'm right-handed, maybe, it, maybe it's different if you're left-handed, but this way I can always work naturally here. Again, pull in with my left hand, a little bit more pressure, and remove it. Now I've kind of gone to a sawing action, the whole time putting pressure with the knife on the breastplate. Turkey breast. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, I turned the bird um, instead of trying to work on this side. So again, it's on the left side of me, same as the other breast. Incision, I'm kind of like going all the way down. The whole time I'm putting a little pressure with my left hand, pulling the breast from the bone. As long as you're putting pressure on the bone here, you're gonna figure out where to go. I'm from the south, so everyone wants to fry their turkey um, or like make a turducken or something, but I like the classic roasted turkey. I've removed the wing bones now, and now we just have some other stuff here. This is the oyster, which is definitely the delicacy. If you're carving the turkey, you should eat this. That's your, uh, your gift. There's also lots of good meat here by the neck, which is separated by a bone. And the only way to get it is if you stick your fingers in there and pull that bone off. And then we got more 
kind of like leftover skin here, super tasty. Best thing about cooking a bird whole is to actually get all the meat that's closest to the bone, which is always gonna be the, the, the juiciest part. And all this meat here is really good sandwich meat. I would definitely spend as much time as I could trying to get all this meat off, but for right now, we're gonna set it aside and at the end, we can always come back to that and remove some more. You could just put this into a pot, cover it with water, make beautiful stock. Having a little turkey broth at the end of uh, Thanksgiving, pro move, you know? We have removed um, all the individual parts from the turkey, uh, and now we're gonna work on getting the ones that are still in the bone off the bone, but then also slicing the sliceable stuff. Let's start with the leg. I don't think that you're really gonna have a bad time if you just use your hands, um, but we may be able to keep it together a little bit more if we use a knife. But let's be honest, you can use your hands. Same process as before, kind of cutting against the bone, but then also putting a little bit of pressure. It's gonna wanna fall apart on you, but that's totally just what it is. Nice piece of leg meat. Uh, we have another bone for stock. It's gonna go in with the uh, turkey. More leg here. We'll do half a bird on each plate. And we're gonna acquire some odd, kind of like falling apart bits. That's totally good. And that's the sandwich meat for later on. This wing bone, we're just gonna treat it the same way we did with the leg bone. Uh, we have another wing bone here. Uh, incision in the middle. And kind of going all the way down. Same thing here. Legs are done. We're gonna stick with dark meat here. We have some thigh meat. I, I think that these thighs, I don't know if using a knife is gonna be very helpful, so we're just gonna dig in with our hands. We can literally just kind of separate it from the bone. Some of that meat is still gonna stick to this bone and we can pick it off, put it to our sandwich zone here. Be really gentle with this part because you will definitely want that skin to still be there. And then maybe just see if you can kind of naturally break it so you have smaller pieces and so now everyone's getting a whole, a whole thigh. So same thing here, I'm a wing guy. I definitely wanna eat this wing. We could definitely cut or like pull all this meat off of here, but I think that that's kind of a lucky piece that two people are gonna get. Super tasty and they can eat it off of the bone. Um, again, these are the wing tips. So all of this dark meat and little bits of wing meat that we've set aside now, we can just get it out of our way in order to have a little bit of room to then cut our breasts. All right, now we have the breasts. So um, I'm, I'm gonna switch over to a longer knife. You can use any sort of like chef's knife or slicing knife. Again, like I think that a lot of people wanna go about cutting the turkey in a way where they wanna do these like long cuts, but I would prefer to cut straight down in order to let everybody get a little bit of skin. So I'm just gonna really simply let my, my knife do the work by making a few quick RPMs. Now you have this whole really awesome, nicely sliced and presented piece of breast. All right, we have a whole turkey on two different plates. We have sliced breast meat. We got a whole wing. We got lots of super juicy, tasty dark meat. Um, all with its skin on it. Remember that this actually isn't that difficult. If you just take it one step at a time, you're gonna work on your breasts, you're gonna work on your thighs, separate them, and then you can remove the meat. Hopefully this makes this easier, less stressful, and you can enjoy eating it and not freaking out.